Stepper motors are used for the precise positioning and that's why they are used in printers, CNC machines, CD-ROMs, robotics, telescopes, ties and so on. There are mainly two types of the stepper motors. Number one, unipolar stepper motors and number two, bipolar stepper motors. Unipolar stepper motors can be further divided into two groups. Number one, five wires stepper motor. The one you can see on the screen is 24BYJ48, five volt DC unipolar stepper motor. As you can see clearly, this stepper motor has five wires. Number two, six wires unipolar stepper motor. Bipolar stepper motors comes with four wires. Regardless of the type and size of the stepper motors, the basic working principle of all the stepper motors is exactly the same. In this episode, I will practically show you how to use the same programs to control all the three stepper motors. This tutorial covers number one, constant speed and constant limits. Number two, variable speed and constant limits. Number three, precise manual positioning. Number four, how to find the common wires of the unipolar stepper motor using a digital multimeter. This tutorial can be a bit longer, but trust me, at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to control any type of stepper motor. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As I said earlier, regardless of the type and size of the stepper motor, the basic working principle of all these stepper motors is exactly the same. The circuit diagram as you can see on the screen will remain the same for all the three stepper motors. As the stepper motors I'm using has current requirement less than 4 amps, so that's why I decided to use the L298 in motor driver. The L298 in motor driver is basically designed for controlling simple DC motors. In my previous tutorials, I used this motor driver for controlling the robot. As the L298 in motor driver has the ability to control two DC motors at the same time, and as you know, a stepper motor has four wires, so it means we can use the L298 in motor driver to control a unipolar or bipolar stepper motor. You might be thinking, what about the unipolar motors, as they have six wires? Well, the common wires are not connected, so the unipolar stepper motors connections with the L298 in motor travel is exactly the same as the bipolar stepper motors. As you can see in the circuit diagram, the four wires of the stepper motor are connected with the OUT1, OUT2, OUT3 and OUT4, while the input pins of the L298 in motor travel are connected with the Arduino pin number 8, 9, 10 and 11. The enable pins of the L298 in motor driver by default comes with the jumper capes. So make sure you remove the jumper capes and connect the enable pins with the Arduino pin number 6 and pin number 7. J1 is the DC female power jack. This is where we connect the external 12 volts of 5 volts power supply. And finally, connect the VCC of the L298 in motor driver with the Arduino 5 volts. Let me tell you once again, if you are using stepper motors with current ratings greater than 4 amps, then never use the L298 in motor driver. 
Now let's have a look at the pinout of the L298 in motor driver. This is the L298 in motor driver which I'll be using for controlling all the three stepper motors. As you can see all the male headers and terminal blocks are clearly labeled. The DC female power jack positive wire is connected with the plus 12 volt terminal block and the ground wire is connected with the ground and also make sure you connect the ground with the Arduino's ground. The plus 5 volt terminal block is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. The ENA and ENB pins are connected with the Arduino's pin number 6 and pin number 7. The N1, N2, N3 and N4 pins are connected with the Arduino's pin number 8, 9, 10 and 11. These connections will remain the same for all the three stepper motors. Now to control any stepper motor we will simply connect the four wires of the stepper motor with the OUT1, OUT2, OUT3 and OUT4. First let's start with the bipolar stepper motor which is used in CD-ROMs. Later we can use this motor in some other project. While the digital multimeter is set on the continuity, check the coil's continuity. Now connect the four wires of the stepper motor with the OUT1, OUT2, OUT3 and OUT4 of the L298N motor driver. Connections are done and now it's time to connect a 5 volt adopter as it's a 5 volt stepper motor. Now let's have a look at these programs which will be used for controlling all the three stepper motors. First we will use these programs to control the bipolar stepper motor and then we will use the same programs with the unipolar stepper motors. First let's start with this program. The purpose of this program is to demonstrate how a bipolar stepper motor can be operated at a constant speed and with constant limits. First of all, I started by including the library for the stepper motor. Then I defined two pins for the enable pins of the L298 in motor driver. Integer steps is equal to 16. You can set this to different values like for example 4. 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 and 32. 
Try these values one by one and see how the stepper motor behaves. And then select the value which works best for you. As you know, my friends, each and every Arduino Omega program has at least two functions, which are the write setup and write loop functions. Write means that these functions are not returning any values, while the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. We set the maximum speed. You can try different values and select a value as per your requirement. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication while 9600 is the bar trade. This will be used for the debugging purposes. Make sure you turn on the enable pins, otherwise stepper motor won't work. Then starts the wide loop function. In the wide loop function we simply set the speed and the steps. These steps defines the minimum and maximum limits. You can change the limits by changing these values. In this particular case, the stepper motor will move 50 steps in forward direction and then will stop for a half second and then move in the reverse direction and stop again for a half second. This process is repeated again and again. Now let's have a look at the second program. The purpose of this program is to demonstrate how to keep the minimum and maximum limits of the stepper motor constant while keeping the speed a variable. This time I added a variable resistor or potentiometer with the analog pin S0 of the Arduino to control the speed of the stepper motor in real time. And also defined a variable data to store the value of the variable resistor. You can change the steps as per your requirement. You can try different values. In the white setup function, I set the variable resistor as the input. In the wide loop function, I use the analog read function to read the variable resistor and store the value in variable data. Then using the map function, I limit the maximum speed to 600 and store the value in variable data. The value stored in data can be used as the speed of the stepper motor, while the rest of the instructions remains the same. Now let's have a look at the third program. The purpose of this program is to demonstrate how we can manually set the position of the stepper motor using a variable resistor. This time I added two more variables of the type integer current value and previous value. Then in the while loop function I simply used two F conditions to check if the value which is coming from the variable resistor is greater than the previous value then move the stepper motor in one direction. If the value is less than the previous value then move the stepper motor in another direction while if the current value is equal to the previous value then simply stop the stepper motor. These programs can be downloaded from my website. The link is given in the description. Now I will upload these programs one by one and we'll see the bipolar stepper motor in action. Polar 6 wire stepper motor. As you can see, it's really hard to tell which wires are the common wires and which wires are the coil wires. Let's first divide these wires into two groups using the digital multimeter. 
Set the digital multimeter on the continuity and make sure you hear the beep sound when you touch the digital multimeter test leads. Now select any random wire and check its continuity with the rest of the wires. When you hear a beep sound it means that these wires are internally connected. So these three wires are internally connected. Now repeat the same for the remaining three wires. So this is group 1 and this is group 2. Each group has one common wire. To find the common wire, set the digital multimeter on the resistance and check the resistance. As you can see, while the black wire is selected, the other two wires gives approximately the same resistance, which means the black wire is the common wire in group 1. And if you check these two wires, you will see the resistance is approximately the double. Let's draw the internal connection diagram of the stepper motor coils. So basically this is C1, this is A1 and this is A2. Now repeat the same steps for the group 2 wires. As you can see in group 2 the white wire is the common wire. So the black and white wires are the common wires and we will leave it unconnected. And we'll only connect these four wires with the L298 in motor driver. So this is how easily we can find the common wires of the 6 wire unipodo stepper motor. The group 1, 2 wires are connected with the out 1 and out 2. The 2 wires of the group 2 are connected with the out 3 and out 4. While the black and white wires which are the common wires are not connected. The L298 in motor travel connections with the Arduino remains the same as explained in the circuit diagram. I'll be using the same programs which I used for the bipolar stepper motor. You can try different steps and speed values. This is the 5 wire 24BYJ48 5V DC unipolar stepper motor. Its use is just like the 6 wire unipolar stepper motor. The only difference is in the number of the wires. 
In five wires to per motor, the common wires are internally connected, so that's why we have only one common wire. In this tipper motor, the middle wire is the common wire, which you can also check practically using the same method I used for the six wire unipolar tipper motor. The common wire is not connected, while the rest of the connections are exactly the same. I tested all these programs change the step values and speed values as per my requirement and the stepper motor worked perfectly without any problem. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.